Apple's messy documentary shows football's change from sport to content. Premier League considers Christmas Eve matches in latest round of TV scheduling. In Germany, FC Schock 4's sponsor Helsta Insolvent, S04 are likely to lose millions. San Diego FC logo revealed, team to start play in MLS in 2025. German GOV official requests the sacking of Bayern Munich's now Sir Masreoyu. Now Sir Masreoyu not training with Bayern Munich amid pressure over pro-Palestine stance. Oliver Bierhoff becomes a consultant for the New England Patriots. Biden declares Israel and Ukraine support is vital for U.S. security, and most $60 billion for Ukraine, $10 billion for Israel in funding request. U.S. to send Israel artillery shells, initially destined for Ukraine 10 months ago. It had been reported that Pentagon would send U.S. arms stored in Israel to Ukraine. U.S. State Department official resigns over weapons support for Israel. Putin is being told everything is going to plan, Ukrainian intel says. Well-known Russian militant Babe has been killed on Zaporizhia front. Kazakhstan bans export of drones, goods that could be used in war to Russia. Judge rules bankruptcy does not protect Alex Jones from paying $1.1 billion in defamation damages to Sandy Hook families. New York sues crypto firms for alleged $1 billion fraud, cites SBF hedge fund Bet. UAE Emirate launches new free zone for digital assets, Web3 and AI, IO.net to launch first GPU-enabled, decentralized computing network for AI. Bitcoin Core 25.1 released. European Central Bank moves Digital Euro to next phase, as Digital Euro project moves to preparation phase. SEC drops charges against Ripple CEO Garlinghouse, Chairman Larson. Elon Musk, Mark Cuban back Supreme Court case, against SEC, on Supreme Court to curb, SEC's use of in-house judges. Coinbase picks Ireland, as its main EU regulatory hub, as US, authorities go on the offensive. Canadian finance company. Desjardins laying off 400 workers. Italy introduces male quotas in schools. Australia's live music scene decimated, with 1,300 venues lost since pandemic. Canada will legalize medically assisted dying for people addicted to drugs. Beer and wine bottles could be slapped with cancer warning stickers in Australia. Paramount cancels 2023 MTV Europe Music Awards, citing Israel Gaza crisis. Trudeau not ready to accept U.S. finding. That Palestinian outfit was behind Gaza hospital blast. Hamas spokesman reportedly among scores arrested in occupied West Bank. On Nielsen streaming top 10, Suits returns to first place for the 13th time after one week at number two. John Stewart's The Problem Not Moving Forward at Apple amid creative differences, reportedly over coverage of AI in China. Aqua Teen Hunger Force Season 12 release date announced. Pluto TV launches free 90s Nick Channel. Wheel of Time animated prequel The White Tower finds director. Christopher Nolan, Taylor Swift skips studios for Era's tour release and is showing them how incredibly valuable movie theaters are. Deadpool 3, Merc with a Mouth, is moving off May release date, as actors' strike shakes up, 2024 theatrical schedule. Hollywood's biggest stars offer, to kick in $150 million over three years, induced to help end actors' strike stalemate. Jim Jordan vows to fight as U.S. House Speaker race grinds on. Cher threatens to leave the country if Donald Trump is re-elected. I almost got an ulcer the last time. Marvel's Spider-Man 2 video game director teases potential Venom spin-off. Spider-Man 2's photo mode will let you turn your heroes into just little guys. Climate protesters disrupt start of Federal Reserve Chair Powell's economic speech. Greta Thunberg joins climate protest outside J.P. Morgan. Welsh water admits spilling untreated sewage near dolphin habitat for decade. Melting Antarctic ice reveals mummified penguins and secrets of climate change. Speeding boats push critically endangered whales closer to extinction. Warm seas blamed for the disappearance of 10 billion snow crabs around Alaska. New England S $510 million lobster economy reels from near 40% population plunge. Ukraine's parliament votes to ban the Moscow Patriarchate of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church for its ties to the Kremlin. Leaked documents show connections between Geert Wilder's PVV and Russia. European Commission launches three infringement proceedings against Hungary. NATO member states' ambassadors and Sweden's ambassador to Budapest meet after Orban's meeting with Putin. Russia detains RFERL journalist with dual nationality. U.S. sees harassment. 
EU raises security concerns as it reveals five Caribbean states have sold 88,000 golden passports. EU bids to tighten migration rules after attacks in Arras in Brussels. Perpetrator of terrorist attack in Brussels had been arrested in Portugal, but escaped. In Canada, judge grants more freedom to repatriated Canadian, who married notorious ISIS fighter. U.S. Navy destroyer and Red Sea shoots down three cruise missiles fired from Yemen potentially headed toward Israel, Pentagon. Israeli foreign minister says Gaza territory will shrink after war. U.S. to send two Iron Dome systems back to Israel. Drones attack a U.S. military base in southern Syria and there are minor injuries, U.S. officials say. Intel, Siemens and actor Gillian Anderson pull out of Web Summit over Cosgrave Israel Hamas comments. Indian origin doctor, working at Royal Bahrain Hospital sacked over anti-Palestine tweets, apologies is saying comments were insensitive. Pro-Palestine protests in UK, are stirred up by Iranian and Hamas network. Eric Zummer makes a direct link between Karim Benzema, and the assassin of Professor Dominique Bernard. Leftist leader, May Lynch and defends Benzema, whom he considers demonized by the government. Gerald Darmanin will withdraw his comments about Karim Benzema if the footballer tweets about the assassination of Dominique Bernard. Hamas Tacos, a Chamas Tacos restaurant threatened with closure due to the malfunction of the sea in the sign. In Germany, as per court decision, urinating into the Baltic Sea is not an administrative offense at night. AMIM leader moves court against Rahul Gandhi, says pet dog's name Nori hurts his religious sentiment. California Governor Newsom to visit China next week to discuss climate action. Nestle is closing an infant formula factory as China's birth rate plunges. BlackRock says, Bitcoin market is unregulated, lacks transparency in new EDF filing. JP Morgan expects spot Bitcoin EDF approvals to come within months. U.S. cites Hamas, in designating foreign crypto mixers, as money laundering hubs and FinCEN proposes new regulation to enhance transparency in convertible virtual currency, mixing and combat terrorist financing. Baffin, German regulator, cautions consumers about MEXC's crypto custody services. In Argentina, due to high inflation, the government wants to bring 90 million banknotes printed in Germany. Portugal leaves the debt podium in Europe for the first time since 2010. South Africa secures $676 million grants from rich nations for energy transition. France creates a tax haven to attract FIFA, in its budget 2024. Lacrosse at the Olympics gives Native Americans a chance to see their sport shine. Saudi Arabia wants to host 2035 Women's World Cup tournament. F1 drivers blast obscene new $1 million maximum fine for offenses. Air France changes flight plans in France due to fewer travelers. American Airlines posts $545 million loss in a time of big profits for rivals. No evidence EU aid went to Hamas, says Israel ambassador. EU cannot accept Israel illegally halting water to Gaza, says Joseph Borrell. Irish President Varadkar says, Ireland won't give Palestinian refugees the same protection as Ukrainians. Canada called on its citizens to avoid traveling to Lebanon. Basel Euro Airport has been evacuated. British Metropolitan Police rammed boy, 13, playing with water pistol off bike and pointed guns at him. Dozens of Israelis arrested for social media posts defending Gaza, advocates say. State Department official resigns over Biden's handling of Israel-Gaza war. Starbucks, Workers United Union sue each other in standoff over pro-Palestinian social media post. Amid House Speaker chaos, GOP confess attack on Social Security, Medicare top priority. In the U.S., premiums for family health insurance at work jumped to nearly $24,000 this year. Sunax, COVID startup fund, invested nearly 2 million British pounds in firms, linked to his wife. Red meat consumption associated with increased type 2 diabetes risk. AI in 10 seconds of voice can screen for diabetes, new study reveals. A variant in the 5-UTR of ERBB4 gene is associated with lifespan in golden retrievers. Japan becomes first country ever to fire electromagnetic railgun from an offshore vessel. China now has more than 500 nukes, Pentagon says. Groundbreaking bionic arm that fuses with a user's skeleton and nerves could advance amputee care. A researcher hijacked the CIA's secure contact link for informants due to a flaw in X23 and me says it's looking into another possible data leak. Casio discloses data breach impacting customers in 149 countries. Social media influencer, Douglas Mackey, 
a.k.a. Ricky Vaughn sentenced for election interference, in 2016 presidential race, who attempted to trick voters into believing they could vote by text message. Trump attorney Sidney Powell pleads guilty, in Georgia election subversion case. IP address fraud, gets boss of McFo company, five years sentence, for selling rights of IPv4 addresses, on the secondary market. FBI says North Korea deployed thousands of IT workers to get remote jobs in U.S. with fake IDs. Thousands of remote IT workers sent wages to North Korea to help fund weapons program. Peter Thiel was reportedly an FBI informant. FCC moves ahead with Title II net neutrality rules in 3 versus 2 party line vote. Analyses showed a higher risk of ADHD individuals being involved in intimate partner violence as perpetrators or victims. Likewise, individuals with ADHD were at increased risk of being perpetrators or victims of sexual violence. SARS-CoV-2 infection is associated with increased risk of Guillain-Barré syndrome, while Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine is associated with decreased risk. Direct neuronal conversion of microglia macrophages, immune cells, reinstates neurological function after stroke in humans. Man arrested for faking heart attack 20 times at restaurants to avoid paying bill, reports say. Man who pretended to be mannequin in Warsaw shop window charged with theft. Stench leads officials to 189 rotting corpses at taxidermist's funeral home. Amazon introduces humanoid robots to its warehouses, assures workers their jobs are safe, as they are to free up staff. Amazon says it has 10,000 Rivian electric vans in its delivery fleet. Limited Run Game CEO heard that Walmart may stop selling video game discs. No cases of cancer among recipients that received the HPV vaccine as children has been reported in Norway study. Also, in wider angle, the bivalent quadrivalent HPV vaccines have the potential to prevent 76.4% of HPV-positive cervical cancer cases, while the nonavalent vaccine could prevent 93.3% of cases. Big banks are quietly cutting thousands of employees, and more layoffs are coming. Jobless claims fall to nine months lowest, of 198,000, not many layoffs in U.S. economy. Late payments rise on U.S. loans tied to inflated pandemic credit scores. WhatsApp will now let users log into two accounts simultaneously. Google Messages for Web prepares account-based pairing with an emoji twist. Discord is going to give out warnings instead of permanent bans. Agricultural businesses around the world losing $123 billion per year, reportedly. Phylogenetic relatedness can influence cover crop-based weed suppression. Cover crops are plants grown to provide regulating, supporting, and cultural ecosystem services in managed environments. Report shows that Inflation Reduction Act alone won't set United States on track for net zero. U.S. federal forecasters predict warm, wet U.S. winter but less snow because of El Nino, climate change. Xiaomi HyperOS screenshots leak before Xiaomi 14 and Xiaomi 14 Pro releases. Suspicious Xiaomi 14 live image shows an ultra-narrow bezel screen and design more like iPhone. Oppo Find N3 announced with SD8 Gen 2 triple Hasselblad camera. iOS 17.1 update has fixed new iPhone 15 screen problem. Arms Key China staff quit to create government back startup. Extreme Overcloaker makes Intel Core i9-14900KF scream to a record-breaking 9 GHz. Console and PC game sales fall in Europe during September. Toyota adopts the North American charging standard to expand customer charging options. ChargePoint starts rolling out Tesla's Nax plugs for its customers. Crash repairs on Tesla cars are costly, but other EVs near parity with gas vehicles. Scottish couple facing $33,000 repair bill after driving Tesla in heavy rain. The 2024 Genesis G70 gets standard 300 horsepower. 2.5 liter four cylinders. Honda Civic Hybrid returns in 2024, with production in Ontario and Indiana. Nadia Holder, the Slade star diagnosed with cancer five years ago, wife reveals. Ed Sheeran will tour Malaysia in February, 2024, with special guest Callum Scott. Ozzy Osbourne admits, he used to pee his pants on stage, I was wet anyway. In Mexico, Armed forces will operate 20% of the budget in 2024, 8.6 times more than in 2018. The UN withdraws from Mali, the junta denounces a betrayal and accuses France. In Brazil, Camara approves Bolivia's adhesion to Mercosur. 
James McAvoy to make directorial debut on Story of Scottish Duo, who got a record deal after pretending to be rappers from California. James Franco to star as U.S. Navy sailor, who fathers child in Italy in gritty drama Hey Joe. Sherlock co-creator Mark Gaddis to adapt Arthur Conan Doyle's Lot No. 249 as BBC Christmas Ghost Story. Kit Harrington, Freddie Fox to star. Apple's $130 Thunderbolt 4 cable could be worth it, as seen in X-ray CT scans. Apple working on larger iPad Air with 12.9-inch display. AirTag 2 postponed until 2025. Google to manufacture Pixel smartphones in India will roll out by 2024. SpaceX aims to launch 144 missions in 2024. Elon Musk blames remote workers for Tesla's struggling car sales. Elon Musk loses $24 billion after Tesla stock plummets. Malaysia says landslide that killed 31 people last year was caused by heavy rain, not human activity. Northern Europe continues to brace for gale force winds and floods. Australia's mining giant Linus idles the Malaysia operations to upgrade rare earth refinery amid dispute over operating license. Apple fires multiple App Store employees after probe reveals business misconduct and sexual assault allegation. Netflix scraps the cheapest ad-free subscription plan, basic plan in Australia. Keir Starmer saved labor from extremism under Marxist leader, says BlackRock CEO. In Germany, Federal Minister of Justice wants job termination by email to be legal. Sunak called Dr. Death by top scientist. European stocks close at seven months low. London exchange limits trading after incident. London wins back Europe stock market crown from Paris. Jerome Powell signals, Fed will extend interest rate pause. China's regional banks facing 300 billion US dollars loss. Local government debt pain could be too much to bear. Eight killed as Israel bombs world's third oldest church in Gaza, the Greek Orthodox Gaza Church, which shelters displaced people. Kurdish Iranian Gina Massa Amini and Iranian Women Protest Movement win the 2023 Sakharov Prize from the European Parliament.